Welcome to the QuickBooks University. This is a QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist, and I wanted to go through the top four mistakes that I see uh, new QuickBooks 2018 users make, okay? So there's a couple of them here, and it's important to understand that there are processes in QuickBooks uh, that you need to follow, okay? So the first one is sales, all right? So when you record sales in QuickBooks, uh, in general, there's going to be two ways, and that's through invoices and sales receipts, okay? And there is a certain time and place that you need to use uh, an invoice or a sales receipt. But the biggest issue that I see uh, and the biggest mistake I see people make when they first start out is this receive payments button, okay? Okay, so if you have an invoice and you've created an invoice, and somebody sends you money, they pay with a check or a credit card or whatever the case may be, uh, you have to go in and record that payment against the invoice, okay? So in this example, if Christy Abercrombie paid 900 bucks and she sent you a check, you wanna go into receive payments and then apply the $900 in this example against that invoice, okay? So what I see happening all the time is that people will just go into uh, banking, uh, make deposits, okay? They'll record a deposit, I'm gonna cancel out of this, and they'll just say it was from Christy Abercrombie and it was $900 and they'll record it. And what happens is when you do that and you don't offset it against the invoice, you are now doubling that sale, okay? The sale is recorded once when you do the invoice and it's recorded again when you make the deposit. So you want to make sure that you go into receive payments. Okay. So let me clear out of this and go back and go to the second big mistake that I see is not entering and paying bills correctly in QuickBooks. Okay. QuickBooks has a great function here where you can enter bills and you want to make sure that you follow a certain process. Uh, with dates and reference numbers, etc. when you enter a bill, okay? And when you enter this bill, what it's going to do in QuickBooks is it's going to allow you to, tr to track the due date of the bill, how much is due, and it allows you to plan in QuickBooks. I see far too many people that don't enter their bills, and what they do is they just keep like a folder or something on their desk, and it's a constant shuffle of going through those bills and making sure that things are paid on time and that, you know, they're all caught up. Well, in QuickBooks, you can do that automatically. You simply enter your bills and it's going to track uh, with reports what is due and when. And it's going to tell you when it's overdue. It's going to tell you if you can take advantage of discounts, etc. Now, when you track that bill, you also in QuickBooks have to go to pay bills. All right. So you'll see here, here's a listing of all the bills in this QuickBooks file. And when you pay them, you simply check off which ones you're paying, okay? And you can print it out of QuickBooks or assign a check number, and you specify what account it's coming out of, okay? So that process and this mistake that I see is first entering bills and then paying bills, okay? It happens all the time, and it'll give you false reports when you're looking in QuickBooks. Now the third mistake, this is a big one that I see all the time, and it causes people to miss out on tremendous amount of tax deductions and expenses, okay? This is entering your credit card charges, okay? So if you have a credit card in your business and you get a statement, this is even if you pay off the entire balance every month, doesn't matter, okay? That statement will show the dates of those charges, all right? You want to make sure that you go in and you enter every single individual charge on that credit card statement with the appropriate date, okay? Here's what I see happen all the time is let's say that uh, it's December and you get your December statement in January and you go in and instead of entering your credit card charges, you go and you just enter a bill, okay? So you say, uh, let's say it was, you know, Chase, and you enter the bill and you say the total balance due was, you know, $1,028 and you just assign it to an account, okay? And if you put that date in January, which is the date of the bill, 
you've just missed out on all those expenses that actually happened in December because uh, those expenses are expenses when they were charged, not when you received the bill. Okay, so this happens all the time and I see many, many people miss out on a lot of uh, expenses and tax deductions uh, because they're entering their credit card charges wrong. Okay, now the fourth and final big mistake that I see is that people simply don't reconcile their accounts. And when I say their accounts, I mean their checking, their savings, their bank accounts, as well as their credit cards. Okay. This is really, really important. And it's, you know, a simple way to think about this is, you know, back when you might have gotten a, a, for your personal checking account, you get your statement and you reconcile the account. You basically just match up what is showing with the bank to what you show in QuickBooks. Okay. So I see a lot of cash uh, and a lot of checking accounts and credit cards where the balances just aren't right because people aren't going in once a month and reconciling their QuickBooks balances to what the bank shows. Okay. And it's a very simple process. All right. And I've got some other videos on here that show you how to do this. All right. So these are the biggest mistakes that I see. And, um, you know, I want to make sure that people get up and running on QuickBooks correctly, because once you get this stuff right, and once you learn how to record things right in QuickBooks, you can make much better business decisions and you can also start to grow your business. All right. Hope this helped. Uh, if if uh, you have any questions, any, any comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, also check out how to do some of this stuff properly. Go to qbuniversity.org and sign up for our free videos there. And uh, we've got, uh, we'll walk you through how to do uh, a lot of these steps properly. Talk to you soon. Thanks.